Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday on the 24th of February 2021, Microsoft released KB4601382 for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2. And this forms part of the February 2021 patch cycle. And if you don't know already, there are normally two updates received through Windows Update in the month. The first one coming on Patch Tuesday, which is normally the second Tuesday of the month. And then the optional update, the preview, which is known as the preview build, normally rolls out at the end of the same month. Now, if you don't install this update, these preview build, the preview build will appear in the Patch Tuesday update of March, second Tuesday of March. And that's norm, Microsoft normally then puts them into the mandatory quality update for that month. Now, if you'd like to see if you have KB4601382, just go to your search box, type in settings, in settings, navigate to update and security, and then you just check for updates. And if you haven't got it already, it will pop up here saying, optional updates and then you just click on it and download it manually and if you'd like to see if you have the update just go to view update history and you scroll down to the bottom where it says other updates and you will see a 202102 cumulative update preview for windows 10 version 20h2 kb4601382 now as I said, it is an optional update, and if you are experiencing no problems with your machine, you don't have to download this. Um, as I say, it is a bug. This is a bug fix update. So if you have no bugs and problems with your machine, it's it's not a mandatory update. You don't have to install it, and basically, you know, you don't fix what ain't broke. Now, if you do install it. And it is installed on your machine and for some reason you find it giving you problems you just go to view update history and you go uninstall updates and you scroll down to the bottom where it says kb4601382 and you just click on that and you can uninstall it from your machine now as i say this is a bug fix and one of the 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 bugs that have been fixed and Microsoft is working on is called the servicing stack and you will see here there's a new entry here called servicing stack 10.0.19041.841 now and this cannot be uninstalled so it is permanent so basically in the release notes Microsoft has confirmed that in this optional preview build KB4601382 uh, it also comes with improvements for the servicing stack now if you don't know what the servicing stack is the servicing stack basically in, is a component that is designed to install Windows Update and it will also ensure that your device has a reliable servicing stack so that it can receive emergency patches quickly so basically the servicing stack um, is a, a update that helps the, up, the Windows update process roll out a lot more smoothly and quickly and efficiently. Now, there's a big list of features, that uh, bugs and features um, that have been updated in this um, optional update. Too many to mention here. So I will just highlight some of the um, main bug fixes from the Microsoft support website and if you're still using Internet Explorer um, Microsoft has fixed an issue where the memory was experiencing a leak and then Microsoft has also fixed an issue that prevents desktop apps those are Win32 applications from opening on all user accounts and then uh, there's a optional update uh, this optional update has also resolved an issue that might prevent certain apps from opening when they rely on OpenGL. And those are just some of the highlights, but as I say, you can always go to the Microsoft support website if you would like to see the total list 
and features of the bug fixes for this update. Now, if for some reason you do your update and it, it won't install, you can always try and, and install the offline installer from the Microsoft Update Catalog. But I see that if you do the offline installer with the, from the Microsoft Update Catalog, that the servicing stack is not updated with that update. So it is only advisable to do an offline install if you are having problems with your install in the Windows update. And then with this update, the build number changes. So if you'd like to see the, the, the latest build number of Windows 10, you just go to your search box and you type in WinVer and you will see uh, version 20H2 OS build 19042.844 that is the latest official stable build of Windows 10 and if you're running 2004 that will be OS build 19041.844 so that was a quick update on KB4601382. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.